could it be a bad ride anyways? I mean, look at this. Look at this machine of all machines that you're riding. Completely loaded out V-Strom 650. The Recon Rex, everyone, the Recon Rex. Mr. Adventure Two Wheels rode down from, uh, how do you say it? Is it Prineville? Prineville? Prineville. From Prineville, Oregon. To hang out with me for the weekend. And we've had, we've had quite the adventure in the past 24 hours, wouldn't you say? We tried uh, yesterday, yesterday evening, we tried to go up uh, through Skyline Drive to get to uh, the parking lot up here. And we got all about, how far would you say? <laughs> we got about maybe a half a mile off of the highway and we got stuck and the nastiest mud, gravy, cake batter, muddy, central Utah mud you've ever seen. And we were there for two hours trying to get out of it and finally got back to the highway. But it was a uh, quite the adventure. We had to take some parts of the bike apart and get pieces moved out of the way in order to get the wheels to turn and clean out the sprocket and chain a couple times. But we got Rex out, we're all nice and muddy. You can see uh, Keith has got, we both got dried mud all over ourselves from cleaning up and trying to dig ourselves out of that mess yesterday. Should we show everyone some footage from yesterday? What do you think? All righty, we'll show everyone some footage from yesterday. Here you go. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. There it goes. Oh, got the mud all over the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hold still. We got to hang on. We got to get this. Look at all this all over the back. No bueno. There's your side stand. Where can we grab onto? The bad thing about these mountain rainstorms is when it rains, it it don't rain. It pulls. Let's pull it, push it over on that left side into that uh, grassy stuff there. And the rocks here will be a better grip than the mud. <laughs> well. I'll stand right here and you get going and make sure that you don't go down this hill. I'm just trying getting that gravel. There you go, you flipped flipping all the mud out so now you're gripping. This mud sucketh. Go ahead and go up past me here. I'm glad that the bike stopped right here. Me too. <laughs> that would have been tough. Uh, I don't think I could have pulled you out of that one. No, I don't think so. Let's just push it another 20 feet up to that stuff on the left. All we want to do is go to the cabin and just hang out. That's it. I shouldn't be complaining. The pioneers did this for thousands of miles with hand wagons and stuff. Why am I complaining? Oh, I'll get this. Uh-oh. 
snap the little mount. And broke it on the top and the bottom, gosh dang it. Oh, I know us. Hang on, hang on. Your front tire's not even turning. You got so much gunk in there. Too much mud? Yeah, it's just, it's just balled up in here. So your tire's not even spinning. Well, we might just have to go back down the old highway. Well. <laughs> How about that for an uh, adventure? This is what I was worried about with the Dalton, because the Dalton can oh, yeah. us and we made it, so. Yep. It, uh, it had some rain, but it, it hadn't turned into that. I guess uh, Utah is just more wicked than Alaska, after all. I knew it was. <laughs> Uh, yeah, people don't understand, you know, that Utah's dirt roads, when it gets wet, it turns to, it turns to grease, literally. Well, I'd say let's, uh, let's just get them turned around and let's just be smart about it and go back to the highway. We don't need to risk injuring ourselves or damaging the bikes or rolling them down the mountain, you know. Yeah, I still got a thousand miles to go home yet. Yeah, you got a thousand mile ride back still, so. Let's do it. Well, Mr. Adventure Two Wheels. I'm lacking adventure. No, you're not lacking. This is adventure. This is definition of adventure here. Uh, we're trying to get up Skyline Drive, guys, and you can just tell, I mean, I got, we got four inches of cake batter mud just on our shoes. Uh, Venture Two Wheels has got mud jammed up in his, his wheel well. He can't, the front wheel won't even turn, so we're trying to clean all that off. Uh, there's just heavy, heavy thunderstorms here today. And it's just a mud bath, so we're going to try, instead of going up this road, riding up uh, Skyline Drive, we're going to see if we can turn around and get back down to the highway and uh, ride the asphalt over. So, <laughs> Cake batter. So we're going to try and get Rex turned around. La Mamba's down there waiting. We're going to get her turned around, and we've literally only gone two, three hundred yards maybe. And so we're going to get them turned around and hit the highway again. All right, everyone, it's 1944, almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> we're two and a half hours later, and we're still... Still not back to the highway, which is literally about 200 yards that way. We've gained about 200 yards. We had to move everything bag by bag, case by case. We actually had to take off, what's that thing called? Uh, the fork brace. The fork brace the and the front fender because it's it set right above the wheel and all the mud was just packing in there with the rocks and the wheel wouldn't turn. And the bike... The bike would not go anywhere, and so we finally took all that off, yeah, and got it down this far. The road looks pretty good here, so we're going to see if we can just ride it down towards the highway, get to the highway. The stream is right by the highway. We're going to see if we can clean everything up and get it all back in peace, in one piece, and then we're going to hit the highway down to our destination for the evening, so... Just taking it nice and easy because his ABS cable is hanging right over his front tire without the uh, the fender there to protect it. So he's just going nice and steady so the mud doesn't catch it and rip it off. There we go.
Yeah, there's three deer right there. there the one on the left is a little, little spike. Ugh. See him running right there in the silhouette? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Probably can't see nothing with the GoPro, but except the blue, the, be the beautiful mountain blues. It's kind of like the cocaine blues, except different. Okay, everyone, as you can tell, we made it alive out of the mud puddle of death. We got Rex all put back together. We made it down to uh, the uncle's cabin last night. We crashed there for the evening and had the most beautiful, wonderful sleep in the world. This is then not the greatest sleep in the world. It certainly is, right? High mountain, cold air, peaceful and quiet, no noise. Coyotes in the background, herds of elk out the front door. Beautiful. This morning we woke up. I made Adventure Two Wills, one of the most amazing gourmet dinners he's ever had in his life. Cinnamon rolls out of a can. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's what you get when you come uh, riding with me. You get cinnamon rolls out of a can for a dollar at Walmart. So after uh, after breakfast, we got all packed up, and then we went out riding along uh, Skyline Drive. We found some absolutely drop dead gorgeous areas uh, with all the fall colors, uh, the bright yellows. My favorite is definitely has to be the orange, the orange and the reds. And, on the aspen trees, mixed and mingled with all the pines. I love it. We got some sweet shots of us riding uh, down Skyline Drive on the dirt roads together. Try to get some distant shots with some scenery in the background, thanks to uh, Keith's awesome camera that's got an incredible zoom on it. And yeah, then we uh, rode down Fairview Canyon, obviously, and heading back into town. We just came out of Spanish Fork Canyon. You saw, you guys probably saw the ginormous windmills. And this is Utah County here, so. The fun is almost over, unfortunately. We gotta go back into reality, I guess, you know, which sucks. But it was fun, we had a grand old time. So hopefully we're gonna do it again, what do you say? Absolutely. There's some KTMs going down for a ride. Oh, are you kidding me? A traffic light? What is this? Back at it again. Back into the world of idiotic people roaming freely. Well, we're going to sign off, people, from, hi from Highway 6 in Spanish Fork Canyon. We'll see you all later. Yep. Rojo and Adventure Two Wheels. Adventure Two Wheels. that view off to the right. <laughs> Look how freaking ridiculously gorgeous that is. Doesn't this just smell amazing? Almost as good as a rojo fart, but it's it's up there. That is awesome. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> 